Family off way in the motor. Mate, he's giving me a lift. Oh, yeah. It's an exciting day for me. First time ever gonna get myself a brand new dirt bike straight out of the shop. I've had ones close as brand new, and I've had some brand new pit bikes in boxes if you as you've all seen, but I've never gone to a fucking showroom, Honda showroom, bought myself a brand spankers. So we're on our way there now. Let's go, let's get it. Oh, hey, we're here. We're here boys, look, oh fire. Chase, chase, chase. Yeah. Little bit of cash ready there. Cool. Whew. Have a look. Yeah. Wait till I pull this out. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Stay tuned. Look. Oh, look. Lady right down. Let's get it up. Oh. Yeah, oi. She's a creamer till I put her in that dirty fucking floor, bruv. Wow. There she is. Brand fine new. This is the first time I've ever bought a dirt bike out of the shop, but it's not gonna be the last. I promise you that. Just take this bike in. Cream, absolutely cream. Oh, yeah, I'm taking this off for the first time. Mad. Mad, mad, mad. Well, I'm not going to lie, I'm putting that back on after, bruv, because that's going to keep the dust off, do you know what I mean? Alright, oh, guys, I'm not going to lie. I'm absolutely in love with this bike. Just the colour scheme, everything, like... The way the gold hits off the red, it's saying kills, bro. I tell you that, it's saying kills. This bike is absolutely beautiful, man. I took it out for a spin last night. <sighs> Absolute weapon. Do you know what I like with these 150s? It's as if they come ready to be road ripped. Because look at the back tire. Like, if you was gonna buy this and take this off road. This is not the tyre you want, because this tyre would be absolutely shit on the dirt. But for the roads, it grips, it swerves, it's like... It's literally like this bike is already set up to do everything I want to do on it. So let me tell you a little story about this bike, yeah? So basically, what happened was, I was looking for a 150 about, wait, May, June, July. July, yeah? I was looking for a 150. Couldn't find one nowhere. Wanted a brand new one. Went up Vic Eastwoods, Honda's uh, specialists. Um, went up Vic Eastwoods. Didn't have one in stock. Paid for the bike in July. Bruv, we're now in October you get so what i'm saying to the lady how comes these bikes are not in stock anymore she's basically told me that honda is act, was actually going to stop producing the crf 150s now i don't know if that's still going to happen but i've got one do you get it as soon as i got this bike i had people messaging me going Where'd you get it? Where'd you get it? I can't find one. I want to buy one. I've just had to let everyone know. I've waited three months for this bike to arrive. This bike's come straight from the factory in Japan, I think they're made, or China. I'm not too sure. I've got to check that out. Uh, but yeah, this bike's literally come straight from the factory. 
and I had to wait three months for it. Mate, honestly, can't stop looking at this bike. Cannot stop looking at it. Not only did it come with that little bit of paperwork, it's also come with some oils. One's a gearbox oil, there we go, that's a gearbox oil. And this is just normal engine oil. So yeah, not bad. Honestly, guys, I suggest, look, if you wanna go get yourself a dirt bike, you ain't got a lot of money, save up your money. It's gonna be worth it, man. The feeling is amazing. Um, the bike comes like this, look. You can smell the seat, look. No farts have been on there, look. Ah, oh, it smells brand new. No, no one's farted on my seat, do you know what I mean? And if anyone's gonna fart on it, it's gonna be me. Look, no dirty old boots that kick the kick, kick the old kickstart. Look at the frame, she's brand fine new. So yeah, like I said, guys, listen, if you want to go and buy yourself a brand new bike, there's loads of people out there. I've got loads of mates who's done it. Unfortunately, I've never been lucky enough to do it until now. But like I said, it's the first, it's not going to be the last. You know when their bikes come this clean, it's like, you don't even want to ride it. You just want to keep it as clean as possible. Go and put it away like an ultimate. And the funny thing is, who knows, if they don't make these bikes anymore, this bike then becomes a collector's. Then it increases in value, do you get it? So yeah, go cash out. All right, so yeah, guys, hope you like this video. Hope you like looking at this bike as much as I do. Obviously, it's my bike, so, you know, unless you go get your own, you're not going to know what it feels like to ride it. But, hope you appreciate this one. Stay safe, stay blessed. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.